Guys, don't forget, t-shirts and hoodies on sale now. Worldwide shipping, fan fiber, link below. going on everybody it's your boy slab train and welcome back guys today to the channel for another video man now recently forza motorsport 6 is out worldwide for the public to get their hands on now this is one of the most anticipated racing titles of the year man forza has always been my go-to title on console whether it be you know for drifting for circuit racing or drag racing it really does offer all of the spectrums of motorsports and also to the flip side it does give us upgrades livery editor and that is just advanced through the years of the franchise it has been an absolute amazing feat to see everything come together over the years of this title now this year we were treated to yet another amazing game from turn 10 studios that builds off the hype of the launch title of xbox one which was forza motorsport 5. Now today I wanted to review Forza 6 from my eyes, the person that has played Forza Motorsport since the glory days of Forza Motorsport 2. Sadly, I didn't have Forza Motorsport 1 since, well, I had a PlayStation growing up. And uh, once I seen Forza Motorsport 2 though, um, I quickly sold everything that I had and was a fan instantly to the franchise. Now. The review today that I wanted to cover was not overall gameplay and you know how it feels and giving my overall review of the entire game. Now because let's be honest the game is incredible in all ways but of course there's always room for improvements and touch ups along the way. The review that I wanted to cover today is the little things, the details of the game that only users from past Forzas would understand. If you're looking for actual reviews of the game, I'll include four of them in the description box down below for you guys from four different YouTube channels. IGN, GameSpot, GT Reviews, and Games Radar. Go have a look if you're new to the franchise or just looking for an actual review of the complete game. If you want my review score of the game in short, well, I gotta give it about a 9.5. Why not a 10? Well, I've compiled a list of things that I love about the game and made a list of things that I would like to see change or also implemented later in an update or something in that nature. Keep in mind, Forza Motorsport 6 is stunning in every way and very proud of the franchise as it's came very far since the days of the original Xbox and Forza Motorsport 1. So here's my list of things that I love about Forza 6 and keep in mind, it's the little things in life that I feel keep us gamers happy. So to start the list off today, driver change. We now have the ability to change from a male to female and vice versa. Something that I thought was really neat, so we can't change any kind of outfits for them, but it's just neat that we have that option. Mod packs, something brand new to the franchise and something that I actually really enjoyed after getting the game. Yet there was nothing in there that would visually increase your car, but there were things in there that would increase your performance or also affect it. Now, what I did like about it is that there were different tiers to those, you know, in terms of packs that you would buy, all the way up to $300,000 packs. You know, they would include super rare items that would, you know, say for instance, give you negative 7% weight and plus 3% grip, or you would have things like a plus 20% braking and a plus five power. I like the innovation of the series. It's something new, it's innovative, it's something that I feel will move forward with the franchise as we go into Forza 7 or even Forza Horizon 3. Faster menus and car selection, man. Something that I feel has been overhauled immensely. You know, in previous Forza Motorsport 5 and Horizon 2, it just took way too long to go through the car menu. Sometimes, you know, it would be laggy. Sometimes things wouldn't show up. It just took too long. Same goes with the upgrade system. Now though, I feel like it's very fast, there's no kind of load times, everything is pretty much instant and in turn saves you valuable time when you have a full lobby waiting for you to come back in. Man, it definitely does shave some time off of that for sure. Now this year we were treated to a brand new car pack which was the Fast and the Furious car pack. Now this included 10 brand new cars that we have never seen before in Forza and I was really excited and curious at the same time if we were able 
to paint these vehicles. There was a lot of them that I wanted to drive, you know, the Supra, DK's 350Z, cars that I was very hesitant about because if we couldn't paint them, you would just see a whole bunch of DK's out on the track. Thankfully, they have made it where all cars are paintable, all sides, everything about these vehicles, so you can go ahead and make anything that you want with that wide body 350, man. It's absolutely beautiful and uh, very excited that they were able to be painted. Now, building off of the Fast and the Furious car pack, DK's 350Z came twin turbocharged. Now, they did give you the option and the aspiration swap to make it NA, and something that I've never seen before in a Forza game, giving you that option to actually take off the turbos. Now, obviously, the car does not come twin turbo, so that was probably the reason why, but it was just a nice touch that they allowed you to NA the car instead of running a twin turbo setup with everybody else and give you that extra option to be a little bit different from that stock base. Now in free play mode, I did find out that they did give you the option to quickly switch between tracks, a quick switch if you will, on the X button. After the race, you can go ahead and hit X as many times as you want and it will actually switch the tracks for you instead of going all the way back to your loading screen and then going all the way back to the track loading screen. So it was a nice little add-on, something to quickly go through the tracks if you're just out there grinding out tracks just cruising and wanted to have a good time with your buddies. Now, on to one of the biggest things that I was really happy about, which was guardrails. Now, in previous forces, you can pretty much just ride those guardrails as long as you want. Mind you, it's not the fastest way around the track. Sometimes it would be, depending on the track, but if you try to do that in Forza 6, you will slow down, man. That's right, all the guardrails now, from what I've seen, actually slow you down, which is a nice add-on. It's a nice little feature that they did put in there and something that I feel is necessary in all tracks, man. Now, of course, we did see League Play come into the franchise and I'm very happy with the outcome of it. Now, originally I was like, why not just do it in the circuit racing, but this is a dedicated League Play server for anybody that is serious about circuit racing. Now, from what I've seen so far, we do have absolutely competitive lobbies in these League Play sessions, whether you're in the spec class racing or building your way up the ranks. But it does give you that kind of progression system where you are going through levels, and it is very satisfying when you do place first, second, or third in a race, especially in a full lobby, man. It gets very hectic in there, um, but also building off of that now, it is kind of a double-edged sword because in some of the lobbies, you all are ghosted, and I have not moved out of that introductory league to see what comes after that, but everybody is ghosted in those lobbies. Now, yes, it is a good thing, but at the same time, you cannot draft anybody, and if you start in the back of the pack, you better have fun chasing that first place. That's all I'm gonna say, man. That's all I'm gonna say. I do wish that everybody started in one position and you pretty much just had a straight shootout to the finish line. That's what I would like, but everybody is starting in the grid like they would normally start a race, but I just feel like it's, it's not fair. That's my thoughts on that. Now, moving along to the replays. Now, obviously we had replays come back from Forza Motorsport 5. Um, all of the angles came back with it, the pan. All that stuff that we lost from Forza Motorsport 5 is now back in Forza 6. So just something that I did like, and all you guys that save the replays, you know, watch them back, save them, whatever, you have the option now to see all angles and not just the regular ones that we've seen in Forza 5. One of the biggest changes, obviously, was the new tracks that came in. I was very happy to see all of the new tracks and old tracks from previous Forzas make an appearance, you know, tracks like Sonoma. I love that track, and I love the jump section on there. Very happy to see that track coming back into the Forza series, and I can't wait to see some jump sessions on there, man. It's gonna be absolutely crazy. One of the biggest things that I feel that we lost in Forza 5 was the ability to spectate online lobbies. Now, if you go into an online lobby, you do have the ability to spectate, something that everybody was up in the air about and wanted to see spectating come back. We now have that for Forza 6, and it is real time. There is no delay, there's nothing like that. Now also too, when you are in those online lobbies, you do have the ability to switch the game chat very, very fast and easily. 
um, which is very nice. Now, if you just click on your name in the lobby, it'll say switch to game chat for you. You don't have to go start a damn party and all that stuff. You don't have to go into it, change the game chat. All you need to do is click on your name and switch to game chat. A nice touch, something small, but the details, man. The details. Now, also, too, with the details, when you are in an online lobby, it'll actually show you the tune and livery that you're running. So, if you are running someone else's tune or also their paint job, it will show you the gamer tag that is being used. It's something that gives credit to the creator, which I think is very smart. It's very nice to see that. And now you can catch them in the lie if they want to say that they tune their own car, but there's another gamer tag underneath of that too man gotcha you know now the smoke i feel is significantly better from forza 5 from horizon 2 i feel that when you are in a bigger lobby there's more smoke man obviously i would still love to see more of it but there is enough and i feel like the majority of the players are happy with the smoke i have no problems with it let me know your thoughts on that one forza vista Oh man, they went above and beyond this year. Every single car has a Forza Vista. Now, not every car though has detailed engines, but for the majority of them, they do. I'm not going to give you a list of them because I don't have a list, man. But there are a lot of cars this year that do have detailed engine bays and trunks, which I think is absolutely breathtaking, man. I love going in there and seeing that old damn shiny motor, man. I love it. Now, something that I did enjoy seeing back in the game was obviously in Forza Horizon 2. You weren't able to do this, but now we can do it once again, man. And that is flipping cars, man. You know what I'm saying? Coming in hot and throwing that e-brake and watching yourself tumble. And uh, you can do some pretty crazy things this year, man. It's absolutely crazy. I would highly recommend experimenting with some soft suspension, raising up your height, and just having some fun, man. Now to top it all off, the night and rain is absolutely stunning. As you guys know, they actually went to the tracks for the rain and you know, they actually did a full graph of where the rain sits on the track. So it's not just random blotches of rain. If you go to these tracks in real life, the rain puddles are there. Obviously, the rain in the game is a heavy, heavy downpour, but it is spot on to detail. And those are the details that Forza delivers for the players, man. I love it. Now, obviously I am a wheel user on the game. Last thing that I wanted to go on is the ability to switch from a controller to a wheel very, very fast. I have not had any problems with it. Usually in Horizon 2, when I am playing on a controller and switching mid-game, all right, mid-game, usually I have to do it a couple times taking the power off my wheel and back on because my shifter does not sync properly. Forza 6, no issues whatsoever. I turn off the controller, plug in the wheel, and presto, man. Everything works, no problem. Now for the flip side of things. The list that I would like to be changed or if possible implemented at a later time, whether it be now in an update in three months or even in future Forzas down the road. Now, Keep in mind, this is not an attack at the game. I understand that, you know, things like time, resources, certain things just can't happen. But this is just, in my opinion, things that would make the game better. So, with saying that, let's start. First off, the BBS rims, man. The vintage 501s are gone. Obviously, I know they weren't BBSs. They were BBSs to me, man. The vintage 501s, they are gone. Now, in addition, we did not get any new visual upgrades. I'm talking, you know, things like the side skirt for the CRX. You know, man, I'm missing my side skirts right now, but I would like to be seen, you know, I would like to see some new upgrades later on, whether it be new rims, bumpers, Hell, give it to us for a update for a monthly DLC. I'll pay for it, man, but I just would love to see some new things start coming into the game in terms of visual upgrades. Now, one thing I was a little bit disappointed about, and I was really excited to do this, unfortunately, there is no nighttime or rain drag racing. Now, unfortunately, you cannot do it online. Uh, there is just no option. It's always daylight. I would have thought it would have been cool to drag race your buddies on a night strip or even some rain trying to grab traction off the line 
I mean, you can do that on other tracks, but I'm just saying in a structured drag race style. Now, I was really hoping for another innovation in terms of car grouping like we had in Forza 4, where you could actually group vehicles to your liking, you can name your group, and it was very easy to find cars as you were playing. Something that I really enjoyed because once you get, you know, three, four hundred plus cars in your garage, it gets very tough to even remember what they do for you. So I would love to see some sort of grouping come back so we can actually group our cars, name them, so that way we're not clueless when we bring them out in a lot. You know, I've been that guy, man. You end up bringing out a drift car to a circuit race. It's not a good look, I'll tell you that, man. Now, something that I was actually really curious about, but the S2000 that we did get in the Fast and the Furious uh, car pack did not come with a paint job. Something, it's minute, it's very small. Obviously, you can go grab one off the storefront, but I just didn't understand that. I kind of wanted to bring that up just to see your thoughts, why Suki's paint wasn't on the car. Mind you, I haven't bought the car, so it could be on the other side of things, but I'm pretty sure it's all around. I thought there was an actual mirrored design. I don't know. I'm going to go buy one anyways off the storefront, but I was just saying, I would have liked to see that paint job on there, man. Now, next two points regarding tracks. Now, one, the test track. Now, I know this is small and pretty stupid, but the crates are gone. The open crates that you could drive through and they had a little ramp to them. They're gone. They vanished, man. The actual crates from Forza Motorsport 5 are gone. I don't know why. I would have loved to see them come back just to screw around with them. You know, when things just get out of hand and you want to throw cars around. I, I don't know, man. I'm just saying it happens sometimes. And now there's no crates to do it, man. We're lost. Road Atlanta. Formula Drift section. In Forza Motorsport 5, we got screwed on that section because there was sticky pavement on there. This year, they took it off. Thankfully, they've taken that off. But um, we now have a massive dip in the road. So bad, in fact, that if you're driving over it or drifting over it, your back wheels will come right off the ground at some spot. So it is very treacherous on that section now and it is definitely not battle worthy so i would love to see you know the forza community for drifting and competitive drifting really start doing some sections on there and throwing down some tandems on the formula drift section now staying with online um unfortunately i would have loved to see this make a jump from forza horizon 2 but we cannot tune our cars in the lobbies again obviously you know we weren't able to ever but since I've played Gran Turismo, you know, I've been a fan of being able to tune your cars in the practice lobbies with all your buddies sliding around. I just thought it would have been nice to, you know, either have the option in the online lobby where, you know, instead of having a back out, try to get an invite back. It just, it took up time. You know what I'm saying? So I would have loved to tune it right there, get right back into the action, or if need be, make a private section where, you know, you can tune your car as you're driving a test and tune if you will now league racing we spoke about it up top with our list now on the flip side of league unfortunately you can run all assists on league play now i don't know if this is just me but i would love to see lobbies where they restrict everything obviously you know i'm talking abs driving line traction stability you can run all of those in league racing, which to me takes the competitiveness right out of there. Because obviously if you're running against somebody that's driving with a driving line in the night or in the rain, it's going to be a hell of a lot easier to be driving around those tracks. Unlike me, where I'm out there with no driving line, traction off, stability off, ABS off, it just isn't very fair to some people. Now I'm, I'm sure that a lot of the drivers out in the league community do run with everything off but i would love just to have the you know the knowing or the safety net knowing that they are running with everything off so i don't have something to blame on when i come in last place man you know oh my god i hate that man now obviously sticking with this online theme there is no real wheel drive drifting lobbies there is only unlimited which puts you in to the rear wheel drive, all wheel drive, and front wheel drive category. I'm not really too sure why there's only one. We actually lost a lot of our class races. There's only, I think, A, or no, I don't even think there's A. I think there's like S class, maybe D class. I don't know, man. But 
we only have two lobbies up there for racing and it just it doesn't make sense why it's not there like we had in Forza 5. I'm assuming that it's going to drop in an update at some time but for right now though we don't have anything else other than what you're seeing on the screen right now. Now one of the biggest things though is drag racing. You only have a rear wheel drive drag racing lobby so if you wanted to run all wheel drive or front wheel drive you actually had to uh, make your own and invite your own friends in there which I don't really understand why they didn't put them all in. Again, I'm assuming it's going to come in an update very soon. Now, this is something that I feel is, you know, a big part of the game. Um, not only in terms of, you know, just knowing what you're driving, but I think it's a good kind of knowledge understanding for people that don't really, you know, know the vehicles too well. Now, I'm talking about displacement. You know, 5.9, 6 liter, 2.5. There is no more displacement menus on there man it only shows you horsepower torque weight and there's no displacement first time i've ever seen that in any forza game not having displacement at least from what i've seen i don't know if they did it back in forza 2 or not or anything like that but uh yeah i think it's a big part the only way that you'll find out the displacement of your car is if you swap a motor into it or just look it up one or the other you got google but I would have liked to be, you know, shown what my displacement is of that vehicle. So it is a little bit weird how, you know, we don't see the displacement or even, you know, what style it is. Is it a V-series? You know, is it an inline series? I just would love to see more detail regarding the motors and what we're driving. Now, the next point really did help out everybody, but it was made for one thing in particular and the triple screen option. Now, if you guys do remember this from Forza 4, there was a triple screen option. There was no more triple screen option in Forza 6, and I used that screen option for my field of view increase. If you turned it on and brought your slider all the way up to 100, it actually moved your driver back if you were driving on a single screen. So it was actually a weird little glitch, but it helped out a lot of people. Not a lot of people knew about it, but I did make a video on it a while back in my series of Forza 4, but I would love to be able to move my driver around in that cockpit like I was able to with the field of view adjustment. Now staying with the options menu here, um, there is no sliders anymore for audio. There's only a master audio slider Unlike Forza Horizon 2, we were able to change our engine volume, sound effects, menu music, all that stuff with sliders. Now it's all into one, which I don't know why it's only into one. I would love to be able to hear my motor more and less of the game and then just turn the hell out of my TV right up. But unfortunately, I can't do that because there's only one slider. Tuning. Now I tried bringing in some tunes from Forza Motorsport 5. Horizon 2, they end up freezing the game and crashing it. I don't understand why, but um, it is an issue. Hopefully Turn 10 has noticed that, and hopefully we will see a patch for that coming out very soon, um, just so we can start bringing some of our tunes over that we've already worked on on to our new cars in here. Now, the replay angles, we spoke about them. I love them, but the downside to these replay angles is that they're, I think, 720p and 30 frames a second. Now I say 720p because if I just record the replay angle and try to upload it to YouTube, it only gives me the option for 720p. Now it is very kind of discouraging seeing a beautiful 60 frames a second 1080p picture and then going down to a 30 frames a second in the replay angles. I don't understand why they couldn't have done both. I don't know if you guys have any kind of explanation. Leave it in the comment section down below. And the last few points here that I have, driver hands only go 270 degrees like they have always have. I would have loved to see something like Drive Club did where the driver's hands actually move all the way around. It just looks cleaner. It looks more realistic. Of course, we did not see created public lobbies come back. Um, that was something that a lot of people wanted. They even said that they're focusing on league racing this year, and hopefully we'll see that down the road with future forces to come. Now, last two points that I have, um, we didn't see any new fictional tracks. Obviously, Bernie's Alps is a fictional track uh, that is actually a made-up track. It's not real, and um, for whatever reason, it's, it's the only one, man. It's the only one of its kind right now on Forza 6 and I would just love to see some new tracks coming in that aren't real you know something that 
they have made or even give us a track creator like I've been trying to get for a long, long time. Ladies and gentlemen, that is my list. Oh, I got one more, man. I know it's stupid, but listen to this one, though. Online lobbies usually before in Forza 5, Forza 4, you had an opportunity after your timer reached zero on your time lobbies where your car would just drive wherever you had it and your drive guitar would take over and drive it. Now, once it hits zero, you disappear, you vanish back to the menus, you have no time to hit anybody if you were going for someone in your reach. I know, man, it's pretty dumb. That's my list, though, for Forza Motorsport 6. Keep in mind, like I said, this game is absolutely incredible. I give this game an IGN 10 out of 10. Now, I know what you're thinking right now. Slap, you said 9.5 a little while ago. Now, yes, I did, but that was before I told you guys my list. Now, after getting that off my chest and leaving this all in the open, I give it a solid 10 out of 10, man. This game is absolutely beautiful in all ways, shape and form. We have 450 plus cars, like 28 tracks. What more could you want? Obviously, my list that I've provided. But you know what I'm talking about, man. Ladies and gentlemen, big thank you for staying around. If you did enjoy it and would like to see more Forza 6 content, don't forget to slap that like button. Subscribe if you're brand new to the channel. And as well, too, guys, you can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, all of which are found in the description box down below. Forza Motorsport 6 out now worldwide. Pick up your copy. You will not be disappointed. This game is going to consume my life, man. I'm going to tell you that right now. Ladies and gentlemen, it's your motor slide train. I'm out. Peace. Welcome back guys.